Okay. Um, think we're here. Let's see. Can y'all hear me? Just gonna make sure. Let's see. Yep, yeah, you can pick me up at least. I heard myself on. On my computer, or on my Surface I used to monitor this, so this is Vulture on the scene we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club, I guess. I don't know, I've heard a little bit about this game a while back, and then I just like kind of forgot about it, but now I'm gonna play it again. I'm like, oh, it can't possibly be that. It's like a horror game, like some anime girl things, but then like there was like three different content warnings about how disturbing it was, so I'm like, hmm, interesting. Don't know what to expect, but we're gonna play, I guess. And I uh, hope my wig doesn't fall off. <clears throat> hey! Oh, I have to read dialogue, don't I? God, I really got myself into something. Let's move the microphone closer then. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to the attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I get that. We used to walk together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I'd get tired of waiting up. I agree with Sayori. Oversleeping. The best. Not the best for your life, but it's the best in the moment. But if she's going to chase me, chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Do I have to do different voices? I, I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. I just saw like psychological horror anime girls. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eee, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I wish I had Meatbag here to read some of these voices. That's mean, Vulture. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you didn't have have it in you to be mean, even if you did want you to. Show excellent logical skills. Oh, hi, bag. Serenity! Oh my God, Love thank you for the subscription. Happy Pride. Less than three Pride gifts. Happy Pride, Serenity. How are you doing? Oh. Oh, is your command still not working? I'm sorry. I'll have to look into that after the stream. Sorry about that. How are you doing? <clears throat> Whatever you say, Sayori. I gotta learn to like differentiate voices. <laughs> See if I can move this. Wait. Can I do really something like this? Oh. Oh, we're moving stuff on the fly. Oopsies. Okay. I just need to make sure that I leave enough space for that. I'm doing good. Randy, I just, uh, I don't know what to expect with this game. No spoilers, but, uh, hopefully it's good, but yeah, it's it, I'm apparently in for a ride, I guess. Can you hear me okay? I didn't really do too much testing with my microphone, but I'm assuming it's working. <clears throat> Volume okay and all that. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Vulture... Have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, fuck clubs. A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. God. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. And did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. We're a great friend to Sayori, just saying. 
We're a great friend. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh, this is li literally every anime protagonist ever. I just love anime and games and staying inside. Uh-huh. I was talking about how worried that you weren't going to learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years when you're not used to the real world. Trust me. Or you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it'll make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I can promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I'm just waiting for things to start, like, for the shit to take a left turn down to fuck all lane. <clears throat> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. God, I wish that's how time worked when things are boring. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. No choice, huh? Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Are we gonna die? Is she gonna brandish a knife in her face? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came on in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, I th so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Meanie. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it'd be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Hi, me Peg. I'm so sorry, but um, I was just in the mood to stream something, and I know, like, currently with the way my plans are today, I can only stream for a few hours, or few, maybe even only an hour. And, um... I saw this game pop up in my recommendeds. It was free. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm i in the mood. I could try, so... I'm trying to do, like, half voices because I'm really bad at doing voices, but I'm trying to do something, so... Also, just so you two are aware, there is, like, a content warning on this. Like, it explicitly says at least, like, three times if you're easily disturbed or are prone to depression or have, um like episodes or something this might not be the game for you so i'm just gonna throw that out there now because i'm not sure i i don't know y'all so what well, i know me back but i don't know you serenity so <clears throat> that said my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less yeah i'm going to the anime club <laughs> yeah come on please Why do you care so much, anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I was br I'd bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. God. I can't tell if Sayori's really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning to have it all planned out. Have this all planned out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I will stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yay, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul 
before a cupcake. <clears throat> oh my god, M imagine meatbag. I'm so sorry. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally use used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me a- Oh, I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, um, so Sayori is like, has the, like, quote unquote, like, a more annoying voice. Who- is, does she have to have, like, the, the low, like, the... Hi, how are you doing? I think so. I think I've decided that. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, God, I have to think of a new voice. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. God, they're really throwing characters at me, aren't they? <laughs> I know we should stream sometime, Meatbag. I'm just, um, this weekend didn't really work out for, like, hanging out for extended periods. But coming up, like, this week, I'm sure we could work something out, or even next weekend. Oh, God. Ah, Vulture! What a nice surprise! I'm gonna have to try to keep all these straight in my head. It's not gonna work. Doing a lot. I, Meatbag, I wish you were here to do voices for me. <clears throat> All words escape me in this situation. This club is so full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Huh. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Fucking first years. She's probably also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sayori and Natsuki. <laughs> ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! <laughs> it's great to see- Wait, no, wait, shit, which one was she? It's great to see you again, Vulture. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... <laughs> you too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Vulture. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> so, sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. And inside, me. <laughs> that voice I'm shaking. Thank you. I appreciate it. It really boosts my car. Oh, I didn't read that line. Whoops. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. 
So cute! Kawaii! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first, then Monica. I follow. <laughs> it's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. We stan. We stan a cupcake eater like that. <clears throat> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Just eat it, bitch. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Oh, God. Oh, dear. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. And <laughs> this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? <laughs> it's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? It's not like I made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. <coughs> no, excuse me. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of me, in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You kept a whole, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? <laughs> Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I I guess. <laughs> Don't let her. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I can at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. <laughs> so, what do you consider the- what made you consider the literature club? Um, uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... <laughs> That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, I'm sure you'll feel right at home, okay? As president of a literature club, it's my duty to make the club feel fun and exciting for everyone! Monica, I I'm surprised. How come you decide to start the, your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, <laughs> well, you know. Uh, no, Meatbag. I don't think there is coitus, but I think that there will be blood and death and disturbing images. Is that why we are suffering through your Emmy-winning voice? Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and how people prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it some special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. <laughs> Monica is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. God, we're gonna fucking die. <laughs> Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Literature? You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. <clears throat> I'm 
confident that we can all grow into this, grow this club before we graduate. Yuri can clap these sheep. The wish there was quite Okay, I don't think Twitch would allow that. I'm I'm pretty sure I'd have to immediately like close down my desk and just like shut down my whole computer. Alright, everyone! Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. <clears throat> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Okay, so who are we interested in? Okay. I think we should go with Sayori because she's like the childhood friend. Or we should go with Yuri because I think she has the biggest boobs. Well, we're gonna figure it out as we go, ladies. So if we have to stop the stream because of TOS, we have to stop the stream. Okay. Boobs. I always go for boobs. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Okay, so it's in agreement. We're going we're going for boobs. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of having a new member join. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, so, Vulture, what kind of things do you like to read? <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, Wig, I don't really have any good way of answering that. N manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, th that can change. <clears throat> oh, my hand's sweating. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading, not with the way I'm voicing her. <laughs> she seems so reserved and timid but the, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Oh god. I am- I'm just waiting. I'm just- I think, like, the tension is the worst part at this moment. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Here we go, girls. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might be having a com might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Same, Natsuki. Oh? Why is that? Why am I even playing the game if I don't like horror? I don't even know. <clears throat> These writers are certainly gassing themselves up. Well, it's supposed to be good, so... Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to, for me a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. <laughs> it looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. 
<laughs> your cupcakes and your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up next to Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? <laughs> well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Oh, thank you, Meatbag. I'm so sorry it keeps cutting out. Have a good day. Bye, Queen. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, these voices are real. Like, I've never had to do this many voices because I never do this, ever. What got into me? Anyways. <laughs> no, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable to share hers. <sighs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I just want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. How can I trust Twitch chat enough to play this game on a live stream? I mean, I don't, but... Here we are. So, I wanted to play a horror game. This game was free. I've heard about it. So, uh, yeah. How are you doing? Okay. I have an idea, everyone. We are playing it by ear. If the stream suddenly cuts out, just know it was for a very, very, very good reason. Okay? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write poems of our own! God. Oh yeah, like, on one hand, I don't want it to get to the horror. On the other hand, can this game ramp up a little faster? And then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Who do I like the most for now? I think we're gonna go... I think we agreed to go with Yuri, because it looks like she has the biggest boobs. Uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll all help us get into a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Oh boy, you're in for a lot of surprises. God, I hope so. I'm just like thinking like this is gonna go from like a point, like just a click, like dating sim to like a... Like a 3D first person shooter survival horror. Like that's just like the image I have in my mind. It's just gonna be like anime girls with like bug eyes running at me at high speeds. <coughs> Isn't that right, Vulture? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. <coughs> What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I'd join this club. Sayori may have con convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Huh. Vulture. You, you, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. Oh no, you can't say no. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price they need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey, you really did scare me for a moment. 
if you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Oh no, you're forced to spend every day with four anime girls. What a pain. Apparently it will be. It will be. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Vulture, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Vultures, since you're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Siri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. <laughs> sure, might as well. <laughs> Yay! That, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? You have clubs every day? Girl. Okay, but, okay, so if I had to like tier these girls, I'd say Monica's at the bottom, just because I gave her a voice I don't like. <laughs> Then it's um, probably Natsuki, then Sayori and Yuri. Because it was between Sayori and Yuri because, like, uh, the childhood friend versus boobs. So, yeah, Monica's at the bottom for now because I gave her a voice. I just abhor. But that's my own problem. Yes, Natsuki, second least. <clears throat> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, right. This is setting up just like a dating sim, if I didn't know any better. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, my God. Something good might happen to whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, my God. What the hell? Okay, um... You know, with, um, judgment. A tone? <laughs> Doki doki. Effulgent. Um. Precious? You just pick words you think your waifu will like. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't like, she likes books, she likes horror, fantasy, I guess, maybe, like, she likes being immersed. Graveyard? Um, landscape. Uh, heaven send? That's a nice word. Hmm, dark? Do these things, like, on the side give, like, indicators? <clears throat> um... Empty. Ugh. Fantasy. Universe? Oh, yeah, must... Okay, interesting. Don't think I'm gonna... Alright, um... Oof. Tragedy. Death? God, Motley... Waterfall. Fickle? Hurt. Fear? Disorientated. Melody? 
And... Lust. Must please waifu Yuri. I tried, but like I thought she liked the horror and the dark stuff, but then every time I picked that, Monica's like, e yeah, so it's like, fuck. I don't like you, Monica. <sighs> Hi again, Vulture. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I I at least kept keep my word. Well, back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Vulture. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Maybe you di making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh, God, no, I won't. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. M M Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <gasps> manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Vulture always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. Mood, Sayori. Mood. <laughs> Roasted poor Natsuki. And you, al you almost set your house on fire once. Again. Mood. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> you two really are, are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Vulture can become good friends too. Uh, um, Sayori. Oh, that, that's me. It's Sayori. Hmm... As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh, oh, Yuri even brought me s something today. You know. Wait, Sayori. <laughs> me? Uh, um, not, not really. <laughs> Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? <laughs> Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. <laughs> what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Guess it means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. Wow, great saving. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if, if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I was expecting something worse. One of these girls just could pull out a straight Glock on me and be like, Okay, okay, bitch, we're doing a cult sacrifice. Okay? Okay, you're, you're in it? Or your brain's blown out. Okay, okay. I didn't want, it, want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. <laughs> this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks they'll like, despite me not reading much. Oh, Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this See, waifu material. She got me a book that she thought I'd like, but she didn't want to make a big deal out of it. <clears throat> Queen. I enthusiastically take the book. If you... Oh, you could read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. 
That doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, oh sorry, I got just my position. <clears throat> oh, okay. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I'd feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. <sighs> Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. But that's not the- but that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. <laughs> Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. I'm just curious, how come we have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped by the bookstore yesterday... Ah, that, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them, on accident, and I couldn't return them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I mean, you're in literature club, bitch. You could read it now. Bond with your waifu by reading the same book. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyways? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over to the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Hi, thirsty noob. How's it going? All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. I see you're into harem dating games. No, okay. I was, I was in the mood for like a horror game, but one that I hadn't played before. And this was free to play and it was labeled psychological horror and I've heard about it. I'm like, okay, like, let's play the anime dating game that's apparently totally off the rails. So here we are. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. Oh wow, this sounds like what's going to be the plot of this game. Okay, let's see how the horror comes in. Okay, yeah, just be... Content warning, thirsty noob. Apparently this has like some like dark, disturbing images that people with... Um, if you're prone to depression or other mental illnesses might be triggering. So just be warned. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Vulture? I mean, that's a good idea. She lures, um, I suppose maybe I won't get too far into it, and I'll look into maybe, um, streaming with Meatbag. Hopefully, she can join me, and then one of us can be monitoring chat. I think that might work, so. Oh my god, it screams for- I knew it! I knew it! Hey, hey, it's he. How are you guys doing? Sorry to take a pause from the game. I'll get back into it in just a second. I just wanted to say hi to everyone. Thank you all for stopping in. Appreciate it. I hope you all enjoy the voices. My Emmy winning 
voice acting right here. Like, Emma Roberts, whom? Like, uh, like I'm the next undiscovered voice actor of our generation. Just, just wait, I'll be everywhere. Just give it time. <clears throat> Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Vulture? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those sort of things. She's so shy, shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When the horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, w when you thought you related to the protagonist, they suddenly made out to be the... They're suddenly made out to be the naive one letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. <laughs> well... I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I shouldn't let- I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I don't know why I'm doing that. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's- I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just that it's not something I'm very used to. That you're reading in company with someone else. I, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. <laughs> Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Don't, don't point that out. I do? I don't really mean to. <laughs> Sorry. I mean... Haha, <laughs> here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then I hold my book more between... Hold my book more between the two of them. God, if only I did know about what twists might come up. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Who? I still learn to differentiate. Basically, Meatbag is the one who is the soul and the marketing and literally everything behind this stream. She's the one that's always, like, um, going to other people's channels, like, putting us on blast, having a good time, making connections. And I just, I just have the computer and the internet connection. So odds are, typically I'll spam my emote in chat, but if you see... Vulture Meatbag Gaming in chat somewhere, odds are it's Meatbag. Or both of us. Sometimes it's both. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh -huh. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. Teamwork makes the dream work. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. 
It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's... As she's and she's in the corner of my vision. Um, excuse me, but I think that's like totally cheating the system. I have to report you for sharing a Twitch account. It's it's the it's our thing. We co we stream together, except for right now when I'm streaming by myself and I miss her de dearly. <coughs> it, we play to each other's strengths. I know you're kidding, but so, like people just don't genuinely realize that like it's Vulture and Meat Bay Gaming, but like people don't realize that there's like two of us. It's weird. Anyways. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> to turn the page. Oh, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. That's some subtle shade from Yuri. It's okay if you're a slow reader. I like dumbasses. Oh. And I'll hope to have her here next time. It just sucks because just the way things are right now, it's a little bit harder for us to stream together, but we're trying to make we're trying to make things work. Or at least I think like I could I feel like personally I could probably meet her a little bit closer to halfway, but we're working on it. It's probably the least I can do. I almost hit skip or whatever. That would have been bad. Since you've been so patient with me. Hey, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Then again, like... I'm like, oh my god, that's so lame, but like... High school me... If I did... Like, if closeted high school me did that with, like... Some... Some man I had a crush on... I would feel the same way. I'd be... Shaking. Like... Sweat, like... Dampening the page. Just like... I, like, I pick up the page and I almost rip it out because my hand's shaking. God. I just had a flashback to high school. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You, you think so? That's because it's my diary. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of rem reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. What the fuck are you playing in here on this day? It is a psychological horror harem dating sim that takes a turn for the worse, I guess. Content warning for disturbing images that may be offensive or triggering to some viewers. Viewer discretion advised. You're, I'm not a weeb. I was in the mood for a horror game and this was free. And maybe I watch a little bit of anime here and there, but I'm not going to tell you what I watch or when I watch it. This is not a porn game. I don't think it's a porn game. It shouldn't be. 17,000 people played it and I read like two reviews and none of them said anything about porn. <clears throat> Yuri remains silent. Also, but Yuri, the wife, she's the waifu. Just to make sure everyone's up to speed, she's the waifu. But Vulture, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with our god. Oops. You know what I'm like? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Maidstra. It's really hard to pronounce. I don't know why. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know if you're self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant to more like, that's kind of cute. <laughs> what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. I think it's about time 
we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. <sighs> Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. <coughs> we love a voice. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, like... Some people might say that and be poking fun at me, but God, I'm gonna just like take that compliment. I'm gonna run away with it. Thank you. Uh, it, it's not. It, it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer if I read it with you? Uh, um, I guess I don't have too much preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. Oh. I'm sorry. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? <laughs> yeah. My relaxation ends. Same can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. It's reading poems in front of women. How bad can it be? I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. You can play some games with your friends. I miss you already. Bye. Okay, bye, Maidstra. Have fun. Wig, thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. <clears throat> On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching for their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Okay, um... When I was watching that, it looked like... Monica had the best reactions, I think, but I don't like Monica, so we're gonna, like, kind of fall back to her later. So we're gonna go with Yuri first, because I like her. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri covers her mouth, then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh. He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Okay, thank you, Serenity. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. <laughs> really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Uh-huh. Yuri stares at me blankly look, and looks at my poem again. Thanks, girl. Thanks for having faith. Well... I know that. I just meant, um, Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are very specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. Can everyone hear me okay when I'm doing Yuri's voice? Because sometimes I feel like I just like drain off into a whisper. I think the most notable thing is I recognize the new writers is that I try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammer is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. 
It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Oh. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? <laughs> um, well, and never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? <laughs> Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. I feel like I'm gonna like get into the stream, I'm gonna get right to the horror part, and we have to stop because I have plans this afternoon. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, um, I'm reading this in my- I think- I think I should read this in under- in Yuri's voice, because this is her writing. <coughs> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Alright. I love it. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. <laughs> what? I wasn't even thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Oh, don't shade me, bitch. <laughs> uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, <laughs> that's, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Vulture. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is Lloyd being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of her past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. But I hadn't even thought of that. It's impressive. <laughs> it's nothing, really. Yours is impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Vulture. Uh -huh, me too. Okay, who should we go to next? Next on my list of waifus was Sayori, so I guess we're going with her. Oh my god, this, this is a lot of reading for not a lot of horror at this time. I'm gonna miss this. <clears throat> this is a good poem, Vulture. Are you sure it, it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But this is why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It reminds me of how you, you're you really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you... Standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Vulture. Deep down, you're not selfish after all, you know? Trying new things like that for other people? 
That's something only really good people do. And thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? And that will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I like her too. It's Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Yeah, you can. Let me tell you. Yeah, you can. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put this? It sounds just like you. Uh, really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast! <laughs> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hey, hey. This is so much fun. Monica's the best. <laughs> yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Alright, who should I show my poem to next? Uh, we're gonna go with... Um, I Maybe Monica. She's like my least favorite at the moment. But when I was making it, I guess she, it looked like she liked my poem based on the, the little animation thing. So, here we go. Hi, Vulture! Having a good time so far? Hey, uh, yeah? Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... If you've ever had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Just went deaf in my left ear. Oh, hang on. <coughs> Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better just going off with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Vulture. We're all a little bit embarrassed today, you know? But that's the sort of barrier that we're all learning to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand my Mon I hand Monica my poem. Mm -hmm. Great job, Vulture. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go over something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's the easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. What a mood. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess that worked anyways. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It can take years of practice, which is what which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I've never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. Oh, has it been switching? Oops. You do your own thing. 
Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. It, that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a bit biased towards their own kind of style. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write, that, write the way everyone else wants you to write. Um, I will. Just for eerie. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? <coughs> Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Oh, <laughs> well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, she wrote a long one. Oh, girl, you're testing my patience. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My redness. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. All right, girl. All right, I, I stand. I can stand. So, what do you think? <clears throat> it's very freeform, if that's what you'd call it. I don't know if that's what I call it. Sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Probably didn't help that I read it in that voice. What was the inspiration behind this one? <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that it's some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of, it's coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's friend, better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big, dark puddle of ink. Just move your hand and go with the flow. Oh, oh my nose plugged up. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> oh, God. I'll have to read all the... Okay. Okay, because I have to be done here soon. I think I'm going to read Natsuki's poem. Get through that dialogue and find a like nice spot to save. And we'll just have to get to the horror bits next time, I guess. Might be tomorrow, might not be for a few days, but I'll hopefully come back to this. And hopefully it'll be not an hour and a half of cute anime girls reading poems and we'll actually get into the nitty gritty of what the hell this game's about. <coughs> oh, unless it gets good right away. All right, Natsuki. Oh, your voice is not the best either. A vulture. If you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What, you expect me to believe that you're actually put some effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? Mm, I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Ew. Painful to think about? Mm. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. And fair enough? Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway. Anyway, I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. 
Owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Alright? Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. I didn't actually get that from the poem. I'd like to read it would be nice to read it again with that perspective. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing is about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this than I realized. And <laughs> that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Don't expect that from the youngest one here. D didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, uh, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Whew. Guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. Guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective or respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with the language? <laughs> um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem with desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. <laughs> Thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. <laughs> you mean you're, you have to try hard, that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Huh. I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Vulture did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I didn't expect I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, they come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Vulture liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, are, we, are we getting into it? Are we getting into it, girls? <laughs> oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> That's not, that won't, that's not what I meant at all. Ooh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Vulture appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you just that full of yourself? <laughs> I... No. If I was full of myself... I deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Um, is everyone okay? 
Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger before. Bigger as soon as Vulture started showing up. Well, whose who's problem's that? Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you? I don't like you guys fighting. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Vulture? She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. And she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Vulture. <laughs> Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is only unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Vulture? <laughs> um... Well? Uh... How do I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever, whomever, whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Um... Hey... Natsuki... You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you being so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. I feel bad. Mmm, I understand. Yuri, <laughs> you're, seriously t you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Oh well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they still put feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened that when you said her poem was cute. I... I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ugh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Don't just like... You could've stopped there, okay? Don't just... Don't turn back on her. I get I picked the dialogue option, but... Yuri means well, and if you choose, if you just told her how you felt, then it wouldn't have happened this way in the first place. Are you kidding? This is exactly what, that's exactly what I did. It was her that, That's okay, I think that's enough. Both of you said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Ugh. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Oof. She's trapped at this point being defined as, as only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. This isn't how you make friends in literature club, girls. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'll s it'll spare me from having to look at your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem in her hands and throws it. Oh, I feel bad. If this is an actual dating sim, I'd feel really bad. Because all these girls seem really nice. I just want them to get a good education and make have make good memories. That's not going to happen though, I guess. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of coming over a cold. Ugh. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Vulture. You're too kind. 
Hi, Jonathan WWE fan 21. How's it going? I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing Natsuki said? About, you know. I'd never do anything so shameful. So. <laughs> what thing did Natsuki say? Uh, the thing about her boobs being stuffed? <laughs> um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. <laughs> Good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Time to move my stuff again. Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone. No, whoops, strong voice. It's about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I did say, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Well, Chara, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Okay, guys, I think... I'm gonna wrap up here in just a few minutes because I got some things to attend to um, this afternoon. So I do apologize if you just for like Jonathan. Seems I just stopped in. I apologize that I'm just wrapping up, but we'll hopefully be streaming um, again later this week, and hopefully Me Bag will be here to join me. Maybe she could do some voices and whatnot too. So yeah, but thank you guys for stopping by. I'm gonna find a good place to stop this. Seems how we just wrapped up the poems, and un again, unless something sinister happens in the next couple of minutes. Could you watch this before you... Hmm. I'll take a quick glance at it. Oh, it's... Oh, let's just load it up real quick. Just to make sure I'm not getting scammed. Fun listening to your voice acting while last. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> one second, guys. Jonathan, did you just know me with that clip? That was not the ending I was expecting. Oh. Your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. This is a dream true thank you for the follow we stan with any luck that means i can at least do a better job impressing those i want to impress i nod to myself with newfound determination vulture ready to walk home sure let's get going <laughs> sayori beams at me it's truly been a while since sayori and i have spent this much time together I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. About what happened earlier. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. 
It's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise you, they're both wonderful people. You, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Uh, yeah. You know, Vulture, it's nice I get to spend time with you in this club. But I think seeing you al along with everyone else is what makes it the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Hey, hey. Every day is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught on to the situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh my god. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, um... I think I am going to stop it there. Just because then we'll get the new poems and we'll have to do more readings next time, I'm sure. And then hopefully we can actually get into something that isn't... Uh, something that isn't, uh, what's the word? A harem dating sim. But, you know, I kind of thought I'd get more into it faster, but... So I'm sorry for if y'all have been sticking around hoping to get into some horror, but I put a content warning on this episode title when I really didn't need to, but I didn't know how fast to go. Anyways, um, thank you so much, Jonathan, for the follow. Uh, Serenity, and I don't think you're here anymore, but thank you for the subscription. We stan. Uh, hopefully Meatbag will be by um, in our next stream. I just wanted to, one, keep up our weekly streams because I do owe it to you guys. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I think I should raid. That's what Meatbag will want me to do, right? So, let's see here. Let's see. Is there anyone... How we fall. Canadian Papa Bear's online. I guess we're gonna we'll raid him. He's always super supportive of our stream. So anyone who's in chat, be sure to send some love from the club if you have our emotes. Feel free to spam them. And uh, this has been Vulture. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Oops. Uh, all right guys yeah thanks for hanging out um i hope to see you guys next time uh, we do have a discord if you're interested so that's a good place if you're looking for updates of when we go live uh you can find it there um yeah so send love from the club Hope to see you guys next time. This has been Vulture on the scene. Bye for now.